Singer Island, Florida, 7.30 a.m. January 29th. On board Team Real Synergy. I got Ryan Davis to my left. We're on the 44 Contender ST, powered by Quad 425 Yamaha XTOs. I got Cap. Cap, say what's up. Yo, what's up? Chip Sheehan and crew. We're out here to find some pesky sails and whatever else we can get some bites on. Been a little, it's been a little slow up here so far from what I hear, right? Very slow season. Yeah, it's been unusual for this time of the year and how good sail fishing can be in West Palm Beach. But I got confidence. Today could be the day. Well, with the real pros, let's do this. All right, so we have made it to the first destination. We're sitting in about 135 feet of water. Um, had a pretty nice edge in shore of us on our way out. Uh, swell is pushing pretty good. Kites are going up. They're grabbing the baits. So, lines in. All right, so just sitting here, starboard, or starboard side, um, waiting for the first bite and this little object in front of me caught my attention, so I had to ask Ryan what it was, and really cool, which is why I wanted to show it to you guys. So, I don't know if you're like me, but whether it's files or knives or snips, pliers, they get scattered all over the boat all the time, right? Check this out. A magnet for your tools. So, knives, pliers, whatever. I'm always looking for a place to stick something in my boat other than the cup holder really cool and very functional. Yeah. Oh, it's coming up the shore. It's going to eat the shore. Watch that middle jack right the middle up. Middle up. Middle up. Middle up. Middle up. Middle up. I'm busy. Yeah. 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 Good gas shot, Cap. All right, you're yeah. Hi, Mom. <laughs> God, you're an animal. You should never do that. Are there any bigger ones or they're all little things? No, that was the oh, biggest big fish. Oh, yeah. Hit that all out of the body, All right, so we had our first round of cockpit chaos there. Jumped off the dolphin. And not quite certain whether or not it was the same fish or different fish, but Ended up hooking another dolly on the short left, which you now see in the box. So, a bunch of other dolphin uh, around. We uh, we let them swim on to see another day, and we're we're re we're retargeting the elusive sailfish. Live action, live action on the left side. A real synergy. Yeah, what is it? Oh, got a really bent oh, rod nice. there. Got a really bent rod. Let me try to, let me try to get a sardine out of live well. Is that a mahi or is that a bonita? Really, really nice technique, Nick. Alright, Can I get that little pick gap right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flipping or gapping? Oh boy, we got a live one on this, yeah, guys. Oh. oh yeah! Mahi Dave! Mahi Dave! Smile for the camera. Little dolphin sandwich. All right, so we're fishing, you know, standard kite setup. Obviously, we've got baits, circle hooks, bridles. Uh, the bridles, of course, are typically a rubber band. These uh, bridles, they actually have, Nick, you guys have them doubled up, so, so two rubber bands together. Explain what the concept is behind the double band. Uh, there's a couple of reasons for it. Uh, the main purpose is with a circle hook, you want that hook 
out away from the bait. And that's you know part of the reasoning for grinding, most of the reason for grinding the bait. By using that double band, it makes it a little longer. When we bridle the bait, keeps that hook off the bait a little further. So, the, so, the so your hook's totally, hook's totally exposed. exposed. Okay. And it eliminates the hook from doubling back into the bait. And you just have maximum hook exposure. Okay. And that allows when the fish eats your bait, that by having that more play, it allows that bait to rip off away from the hook when you know the fish gets the hook. And once you come tight on it, and that's key. If the bait's still on the hook, you know while he's hooked and I'm splashing, a lot of times that that weight of the bait's going to shake that hook out of his mouth. So you want that bait to come off the hook. You see your eyes getting there. Oh, there you go. We may be getting another bite, so stay tuned, Weaver. Yeah, he was pretty close at one time, but now he's uh, he getting out there now. What do you eat? Sardine. Hey, Eddie, can you pop that short one up and let me go under you? Because the fish is behind you. So we were literally breaking the kites down to make them move south. Dave gets bit on the flat line and catch our sail. First sail, one for two. Uh, Sizzle, Nick C, hooks a dolphin, catches a dolphin, and I caught a bird. I don't know, that makes at least eight or nine dolphin we've caught today. Just picked up that other sail, so uh, things are looking up. Hey, I got a question for you. What's up? I figured out your game. <laughs> when, when, when nothing's, when he's not talking on the bow, he's usually hooked on a fish. It's really quiet up here. All of a sudden, look, and the rod's <laughs> What do we got? We got a Kobe up in the surf? It would be all right. They don't feel like a Kobe though, it's too much tail. You got some bonita action? I feel like a bonita. Rugged, rugged bones. They're good. Fresh bonita strips coming up. Great bait. Future swordfish trip in the making. Mahi, Mahi Central. Nothing wrong with that. Good no doubt. Oh, Ooh, little yeah. 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 Watch that short bait. Watch that short bait. Yeah. Short bait bait. Short bait bait. Short bait bait. You're not allowed to do that. Oh, Ooh, I see a flash right there on the short here. Yeah. Oh, no, that's it. That's Eddie's fish. Sorry, my bad. Double header. Double header. Same over there. There's another one. You got him on too, bro. You got two bodies. Look at that. 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 Look at Dolphin fish sure are pretty, aren't they? They're a nice name to play. Well, let's send them to their home. What do you say? Let them free? <laughs> Eddie. Yeah, you can let them. put them in their home. Go to, go to your home. Eddie, why don't you draw them? Yeah, I Did you really want to let them go? Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you can let them go. <laughs> His home was the fish box. <laughs> you said it's so nice and like, like I was like, okay. Go to your home. Don't you know what your home is? I had a lady one day I told her, was like, I don't want to kill anything. I'm like, yeah, you can go to the front of the boat or something. <laughs> <laughs> you might not want to keep it, but it's a nice fish. 
<laughs> probably gonna die. <laughs> I think it's a mahi. Jeff, we think it's a mahi. Hey, Jeff. Pretty sure it's a mahi. Jeff, it might be a mahi. Might, might be a mahi at this point. Might be a tuna, tuna, nuna. Might be a bonita at this point. Yeah. A little more. We have no idea what it is, Jeff. I think I, I have a fish. Alive. Oh, it feels like bonita. Afternoon delight. Just uh, picked up a tailor a minute ago. Eddie's uh, Eddie just got tight on the left long. We have we can confirm it's a sale. We just can't confirm whether Eddie's good enough to catch it. So let's see what happens. Here we go. We're about to get close. It's go time. Flatline guy's getting involved. Let's go, flatline guy! Flatline guy! Woo! Yes, son! Eddie, congratulations. How do you feel after that? Beauty, beauty. They say the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. This is well earned. Ryan, like as if the invitation to fish wasn't enough, you gotta put together this five-star spread at the end of the day for us. Bar South, Rob Gauthier, you, you, you may have uh, a little bit of a challenge. I know that these guys like to roll out a spread. Ryan Davis, Real Synergy, doing it up right. Appreciate you. That's all Angie. Hey. That's all Angie. That's my wife. <laughs> hey, got to give credit where credit is due. Absolutely. All right, so here we are back at the dock, right where we started, end of the day. Ryan, appreciate you and the whole team. The hospitality was fantastic. Great day on the water. Cap, you're the man. So, what do you think? You've been in the tower all day. We haven't even had a chance to talk to you. What do you think? How'd it go today? We made a day out of it, that's for sure. We started off a little slow and you know we battled back and caught a few fish, ended up you know catching a tailor there and some nice dolphin and bonitas. We had some action all day, you know. It was a good time. Yeah, kudos kudos to this guy. It was it was not an easy day today. Fishing has been tough. We had a really slow bite in a tournament uh, out of Palm Beach last weekend. Um, and it hasn't gotten much better, but we never gave up. We went three for four today. We had a bunch of dolphin, uh, crew did fantastic. Uh, Flatline Dave on Lonely Island all by himself, still kept plucking away, plucking away, plucking away. And again, um, here we are back at the dock and now they're rolling out the red carpet. We got wine and cheese and crackers. Sushi. Sushi. You know, the bar for all of our uh, Fish Blue Water YouTube channel teams in the future is being set very high here by Team Real Synergy. But so thank you to you guys fantastic and for those of you guys um, who are just seeing this video for the first time uh, FYI this is part two of a two-piece video where we have we have really been a part of this boat behind me from build day one to completion and obviously we wanted to get out here with you guys and really experience it firsthand so if you haven't seen the video Make sure you check it out. We take you through the process of building this beautiful 44 ST at the Contender Factory. My compliments to the entire team at Contender. You guys did a fantastic job on, on the build. This boat rides out. 
amazing. And I guess, you know, you're the guy who obviously got behind this whole thing. You're the owner. What do you think of your, your new ride, man? Amazing. It's phenomenal. We're, we're really happy. Uh, the, the live wells and how the bait comes out when we're here to fish. It's, can ask for anything more. Perfect. So again, going back to Operation Sailfish, this crew here talking about this boat, day two came out of nowhere, six releases, a quad and a double, $85,000 in winnings, and you guys are in the hunt for those burgundy jackets. So great start to the season. I'm sure you're making your sponsors proud, and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you guys in the mix at the next leg of the series and we'll see you guys for the next Fish Blue Water video. So you want to know what the definition of a true professional angler and crew is? When you can come out here without bait nets because you can catch your own bait by hand. You gotta be that These guys are that professional. Oh my god, you're not putting that on <laughs>